Spreading like wildfire. We are having reports of unspecified creatures walking around the city. Really, doggy? I saw it on the news, doggy. Bully. The city is rapidly becoming infected by this vaccine some potato man created. Neither of you two have volunteered for this cure, have you? I volunteered. Did you actually get the vaccine? Uh, no, I never got accepted. How about okay, you, good. Ant? I'm only hearing about this vaccine first thing this morning. So, you didn't get it either. Okay. Lucella Police Department, what's your emergency? I want to report a young boy called George trapped in a okay. house with Hi, infected maniacs on the loose. What is the address, please? 32 Pleasant Street. Who is calling, please? Are There's you safe? I have no idea where that is. <laughs> what was it? It was a distress call. A young boy called George trapped in a house with some of those creatures. Presumably the boy's family? Quite possibly. But they were acting weird on the phone and just hang up. Oh, that is strange. I'll come with you. No, doggy. You stay here. Just in case we get a distress call. I know we aren't getting many, but I think that shows how quickly this thing is spreading. Spreading like wildfire. Exactly. Yeah. You two stay here and be ready to pick up the, the phone to phone. any possible survivors. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, this part. There they are, they're running after him. Oh, he's here. Okay. Punching mother and the father. And they're paused. They got stuck. Right behind a tree, he's running somewhere. Oh, he's running to the gallery. Miss Gladwin, Miss Gladwin, my family have all gone crazy. They are all teacher. infected. Please help me. He's infected. Run, Ma. Are you okay? Everyone's got she? monsters. Yep. No. Run. Sheepy. Hey, stop. Where you are, stop. Don't come any closer. George is dead. Who is that? Who is that? She's nobody I've seen before. where George was last seen. Oh, what's going on in here? George, are you here? going to be somewhere there. I need to call it. Right here. Doggy, the boy seems to have escaped. Yeah. Yep, there's Penny. Penny fell. That'd be crazy, dude. I'm kind of looking up to down What do I do? What do I do now? Ant, is everything okay? You left your hands on here. You're not armed. Uh-oh. Ow, doggy. Don't turn this radio off. Think, Ant. Think. Come on, think. You're dead. You're so dead. No way you're dead. Oh, he put it in the wall. That's strange. Have you heard from Ant at all? No, he seems to have turned off his radio as I am no longer receiving a signal from him. Well, that's worrying. Tell me about it. We haven't even received any distress calls. Really? I think that the entirety of Lucella is infected at this point. I think we would be lucky to find any survivors. Hopefully Ant can find the young boy. This really does seem like a possible case. Yeah, here's hoping. Whoa, where am I? 
Don't Who are you? Please. Why have you taken me here? Papa, what? he's awake. I look like monkeys. Little boy, what's your name? Are you hurt? Scratched? Anything? Do I look hurt? I'm tied up in a dark room. What is going on here? I saw you running away from one of those things. If it wasn't for me, you'd be a goner. Mateo, I told you to stay in oh, my sight. Don't ever leave this place again. Sorry, Papa. But good job. Seems as though you saved this young boy's life. That still doesn't explain why I'm tied up in this chair. Oh, Papa just wanted to make sure you wasn't going to turn into, well, you know, one of them. Yeah, kid, don't take it personal. We just wanted to make sure you wasn't infected. Ah, okay, I understand. Okay. So, would you mind cutting me free? Doggy, Ant hasn't returned yet. I'm starting to get so quite worried. Isn't infected? I'm sure he is doing fine. He's not employee of the month for nothing. Is that banging at the door? Let me in, quick, open the doors. He's back, quick, open the doors. Oh, open, open, open. Open the door. Man, I am so glad you're okay. You Are you hurt? And I'm assuming you didn't find the boy. I'm not hurt, no. I'm afraid I didn't find the boy. I'm assuming he's one of them now. The house was cold and empty. When all of a sudden yeah. I felt this dark presence towering over me like a heavy shadow. What was it? It was yeah. one of them, but... But what, Ant? It was a young girl. Lifeless, but felt so powerful, if you know what I mean. Oh man, that's horrible. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty sickening to see, if I'm being honest. Man, I'm so sorry you had to see that. I think that just shows the severity of what we are dealing with here. Literally anyone can be infected at this point, and we would have no idea. Well, at least we got us three. We just got to watch each other's backs. Yeah, sh sure, yeah. So, what's your name? My name? Oh, I'm, I'm George. Well, nice to meet you, George. I'm just going to ignore the fact that Polly did that. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Mateo. So, I'm what happened to you, George? Why were you running? Oh, Rash is there. Well, my family went to volunteer for this Rash cure. Rash was infected, then, though. later I that think. night, something was up. Why? What happened? My family just started yeah, acting really weird. Their eyes. Oh, I have Rash. just never seen anything like it. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, buddy. All because of this potato man. My family, uh, don't worry. You don't have to say it. I know exactly what you're feeling. Whoa, what is that thing? Oh, him? We call him Stripes. I'm sure the guy had a real name before we found him. Oh. And brought him back here for Papa to do some research. <laughs> but he's like infected. Oh yeah, he is. He was wandering out there cluelessly. Wow. I just had some weird guy speak so to me through Stripes? this radio. It was his as name if is he Rash. knew everything. What did he say? Call him Rash. Well, whoever it was, they seemed to know a lot already about the infected. Like what? Well, he told me that the main symptoms are that the infected are not talking. That is really good to know. He also knew everything about my family, told me to escape my own home. He knew that they went to volunteer as if... As if what, George? As if... He was watching me. Holy, go and check on the inmates. Make sure none of the new ones are infected. My gotcha. Prediction. Right on it. Where's he going? Doggy, this is crazy. We really have to start coming up with some sort of plan. Well, I don't think that the phone is going to ring anymore. I think we need to start thinking of what to do with the inmates. Good point. The harsh reality is, do we free them in the hope that they are going to be cooperative with us? Or do we leave them in their cells? I really don't think I could do that, doggy. All right, inmates, listen up. There is a mass infection going on outside of the city right now, and we need to... Are you just going to leave us in here to rot? Like tuna in a can? No, Willow, that is not the plan. We are keeping you in here for now until we can decide what to do with you. I have already accepted my fate anyway. Don't think like that. Doggy will more than likely go through all records to see who he will be able to trust if we was to free anyone. Polly, is everything okay? Oh, yeah, everyone is fine. I was just talking to Willow here. Oh, Willow definitely won't be released. She almost got me killed on the way back to the station. Well, you deserved it. All because you stole the pie. What a pity. See, I've accepted my fate. I'm just so sorry, Willow. I'm just 
not in charge Tell here. Her. Don't feel sorry Just for her. Do she again. has the biggest attitude going. She will be last out of these cells. Eat dirt. <laughs> what happened to you then? Oh, well, unfortunately, I lost my mother. Oh no, what happened? Sad. I was just sat down, minding my own business, watching TV, when all of a sudden I heard a strange noise. I turn around, and all I see is my mother's red glowing eyes staring at me. Right then, I knew something was wrong. She was all over me, trying to, you know, do what zombie people do. Eat my guts, I guess. Ugh, that's disgusting. How did you survive? Well, luckily, my papa heard the commotion and came in, could see the state my mother was in, and had no option but to pick up his rifle and shoot her to save me. Your papa shot your own mother? My friend, that's the world we live in now. It's extremely upsetting, but my papa saved my life. That's so crazy to even imagine. What is your papa's name, by the way? My papa? Oh, his name is Maximus. He's oh. actually a really cool guy. He would do anything okay. for anyone. Do I we like have Maximus that. Mateo? Which we have no idea what. Hey, listen up, both of you. I'm going to um, head over the road okay. to the gallery to see if I can find oh, any no, resources. Oh, no, no, no. I'll come with you. Absolutely not, there. Mateo. The you can stay here with George. Don't open the door to anyone. How will we know it's you when you come back, though? I will knock three times. But Papa, what if you... Buddy, I know you want to come, but it's best you stay here. If I don't return within the hour, you're all on your own. But it's dangerous out there. It's also yeah. dangerous in here without any supplies. Don't go mad, stay put please. while I go and find some stuff. Maybe we should stop waiting for the phone to call and try and find a way into the oh, city CCTV. Coffee. Great idea. I'll get right on it. Maybe that way we might be able to find some new survivors. That honestly is a great idea. Hi. Oh, I see them. Right, I must find something. The ranch. Oh, he's a bit of that. Food. <laughs> Wait, he's oh, Can't do this. He Stop. had his redesign. Like he had a different outfit on. I but really now hope it's my changed. papa is okay. I'm sure he is doing just okay. fine. He seems like a very That's strong, like clever man. Minor hey, you said someone was uh, speaking to you through that radio of yours. But yeah, I don't know like what to do with it, really. What do you mean? Well, I don't know if they're good or bad. They seem to have stalked me. George, in a way, he saved your life. He told me to run. That was it. So what would have happened if he didn't even warn you? I suppose I wouldn't have known any different. Well, why don't we try and radio back through to this person and see if we can get a response? Yeah, yeah I don't know, Mateo. They could be another survivor, George. It's not going to do us any harm. Uh, I guess. Go on. Be strong. I like rash in the background. Or stripes. Uh, oh, hello? X, are you there? Go on, try again. X, it's me, George. I managed to escape from my family. Are you there? No, it's not there. Oh, I guess not. George, he's there. He can hear us. X, you saved my life. I just want to know what is going on. Please speak to me. I don't think he wants to talk. He can definitely hear us, though. He just acts yes. so weird. I'm sure he has good intentions. I suppose... Your father has been quite some time. You're right. Maybe we should go over there and see if he's okay. But he told us to stay here. I know, but like you said, he has been ages. Mateo, it's dangerous out there. Yeah. I mean, we've been here I'm for sure. ages now, and we have not found anyone. Maybe it's time we head out of the city. At this point, I think that's all we have left. Uh, guys, I have something to tell you both. You're infected, I think I know what you're going to say. You took that vaccine, didn't you? How did you know? Holy, I have been watching the way you have been acting. You have been sweating and your pupils are dilated. I really don't want to become one of them. 
You know, you really should have told us this before. Do you know the amount of danger you have put us in? What do we do now? Holy, we are going to have to put you into an empty cell and hope you don't turn into one of them. I understand. Police infected. Papa, are you in here? You went out. Shh, let's just look around. Try not to draw too much attention to ourselves. For all we know, this place could be crawling. That's very true. You're very smart, George. I'm glad I have you. Yeah, your father too. Now, let's go and find your dad. Your father's going to be here infected. Maybe he could be up there. We can go and check it out. Go then. Go up. See what happens. Father, I've seen a shadow. for a couple of hours and if you Everyone? haven't turned we will let you go is that okay Poli? silent he's infected no is everything okay Poli? He's doggy i don't think he's okay he's infected ow he didn't have and flash you grab the keys to the car. Let's get out of Maybe here. Pointed. You take him off my tail. Meet me in the garage in 20 seconds. He's fast. The boy. He's alive. George is alive. And, um, Polly is infected, though. He's chasing Dingy. Wait, maybe mother will be there, um, like, to help pull it out. She's probably gonna sneak in. That was episode two. Okay, it's still going. We left the white key behind. Are you gonna grab the key? Okay, that's it. Um, I'll watch episode three once it comes out. This was spreading like wildfire. Episode two of this an antics series. So I'll see you for the next one. Bye.